organizing my bookshelves. So my bookshelves have become a bit of a mess in the past couple of months. The last time I reorganized them was during the owls in 2019, so last year. And needless to say that I have bought a couple more books since then. I have some book mail. I have a little book haul for you guys. Yes, I ordered more books. What a surprise. But now they've kind of gotten out of hand and since my dad has freed up three new shelves for me in one of our family's armor, I have like three new shelves and so that means that I can start decluttering my shelves and I thought it would be time for me to do a little reorganization. So let me show you guys the state of my shelves as of right now and you'll understand what I mean. <laughs> So as you can see, it is kind of a mess and it's time for me to finally free up some shelf space. So I'm also going to be doing a little unhaul as I go along, but I just really need to declutter everything and just reorganize. So that's what we're going to be tackling today. So we're going to start off by taking the books off the shelves, doing a little bit of dusting because I haven't done that in ages, and then we're going to need to figure out a system. So we'll get to that. Is the aftermath. I don't know how many books there are but I'm guessing it's hundreds. <laughs> yeah kind of overwhelming but we'll figure it out. <laughs> Alright, so everything is clean and now it's time to organize. As you can tell, I'm quite sweaty right now. I hadn't realized how much work this would be. This is pretty much a workout for me. Anyway, um, right now we need to start figuring out our system. So I pretty much like the way my shelves were organized before. I organized them by genre and I intend to keep it that way. However, they were overflowing. So I'm gonna try to pretty much keep it the same but just move some stuff around. And the first shelf that I'm gonna set up is my Harry Potter shelf because I know I want to keep it as is. I really like the way this one looks so I'm keeping it the exact same. I'm gonna try to figure out a good angle to film this from. I'm sorry you guys, my room is so small and with my bed in the middle of the room it just makes it very difficult for me to film this but I'm gonna try to set up the camera and we can get started with the Harry Potter shelves. Okay, so we're done with the Harry Potter shelf. I will give you an overlook of all the shelves once they're all done. Right now, I think I'm going to tackle these shelves because I pretty much want to keep it the way it was before, which is like my YA contemporaries and possibly my adult romance books. I just really like the way the spines turn out against the like white shelves and the white wall. So I'm going to tackle that. I have quite a few and I don't know if everything's going to fit there, but we'll give it a try and then we'll see what it looks like. <laughs>
everyone. So we are taking a mini break. My camera battery is charging, so I'm filming from my phone just for this one clip. I am a sweaty mess, as you can tell. I just finished taking the thumbnail and I am kind of reconsidering my life choices, I'll be honest here. But I am very motivated to get it done. It's just that it's overwhelming. I didn't realize how difficult it would be. But we're gonna get through it. I know we will. All right, peeps, I'm back. I took a mini break, maybe like 10, 15 minutes. I still look a hot sweaty mess, but let's be honest, this is the way I'm gonna look for the rest of this video. So let's just deal with it. So right now I'm gonna tackle my bookcase. I have a pretty good idea of how I wanna organize it. Basically it's gonna go by genre once again. I think I'm gonna have like this shelf be sci-fi and then uh, my Disney slash retelling shelves and the rest is gonna be fantasy, I think. But I wanted to do like the Disney shelf like where it was before, but there's a lot of like knickknacks on that shelf and I feel like since the Air Potter one is already pretty pretty full. I want to have a balance. So I'm going to put that right here. So I'm going to try once again to have an angle that's like not too bad. Sorry if it's really terrible. So yeah, let's get to it. Alright, so we have finished the shelves that are in my room and now I have the books that are remaining that are going to go in the other bookcase that I'm going to show you in a second, but I'm not sure everything's going to fit in there. I have a lot more books than I thought I did. All of this, or most of this at least, I am hoping to fit in that other bookcase. So not sure if that's going to work or not. Worst case scenario, we still have this place where I usually put my TBR and as of right now, I've put all the books that are on my TBR like in my shelves just because I wanted to get an idea of what it would look like like finalized. So I'm guessing that some of this might not look the way it is now once I remove the, sh the books that I'm planning on reading soon and put them in my little cubicle here. Hello everyone, so time for a little voiceover. My mom was on the phone and I didn't want to disturb her, so this is why I am doing this like this. And so these are the shelves that I was mentioning earlier on. As you can tell, they are pretty deep, so hopefully I will be able to put all the books that I need to put in there. <laughs>
there you have it my bookshelves are reorganized they're not perfect by any means but they are so much better than they were before and i feel much better because they're not overflowing so let me know if you guys would like to see an actual bookshelf tour i typically don't really watch them personally but if that's something that you guys would like to see let me know in the comments down below and i can make that happen and i guess that's it so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did make sure to give this a big thumbs up it really helps me out don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye